I swear. Okay. Um, so, this is a total surprise for Mike. But, Are you surprised? Uh, I am surprised. Okay, good. <laughs> Today is, uh, would have been Robert Gilbert's 72nd birthday. Um, and I think most of the folks here know uh, who Bob Gilbert is, uh, but he was one of Mike's uh, oldest uh, friends, closest friends, um, somebody that Lee and I grew up with. We refer to him as our uncle, uh, in fact, but uh, I think everyone at the company had the opportunity to get to know Bob as the artist in residence here at Point Ruston, and the impact that he had on this project, it, you can look around and, and just see it with your own two eyes. I think the Grand Plaza is representative of, of his impact, this being uh, the heart and soul of this project and the gathering place where we see in the future, and I think last Saturday was a good example, uh, 100 kids or so down here running through the sprinklers and it's where the, the life uh, of Point Ruston is, is centered and we probably wouldn't have as cool of a place uh, had it not been for uh, Bob Gilbert, but uh, before we do the kind of formality uh, of dedicating this plaza to, to Bob here on his birthday. Thanks to Haley for putting all of this on. Thanks to uh, my wife and, and Lee for the help, obviously. And Jeremy, I see, is here. I, I was hoping some of the other artists that worked with Bob uh, would have been able to, to make it, but sincerely appreciate you guys being here. Um, you know, I, it, it was weird. I was at a loss for words what to say about Bob, which is ironic given Bob's ability to talk incessantly for hours on end. Um, and, it, it, and there's this irony in uh, Bob's death. He, he battled cancer for the last year of his life uh, and ended up losing his voice, which was like the bitterest of ironies. But I was looking at my text messages this morning, so that's how he would communicate. And it was still like classic Bob. He was explaining to me the KISS principle of keeping it simple, stupid. Uh, so he wanted me to draft him a document. I wrote him back. I said, KISS? You know, what are you talking about? He said, yeah, KISS my ass. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, I was like, you know, he even had humor going through chemotherapy, which I think is a, is a testament to, to who Bob was. But I think we know... Uh, how special he was. He, he was a special person in, in, our, in our family's life. He was a person that we would grow up hearing stories about. He was this guy in Los Angeles that built celebrities' homes. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and, and Cheech, Cheech Marin, and you know, Bob these Dillon. people who are usually, yeah. you know, <laughs> Bob Dylan and, and the Eagles, Don Henley. You're, you're hearing these stories and seeing thing and is it BS? Mike has pictures to prove it. They, they actually worked on these projects and I mean it, it, it they, they got to experience something that was uh, pretty unique especially for for young people. They, they were in their you know, 20s working on on these fantastic homes and, and you know if it weren't for for Bob I don't think Mike would be doing frankly what he is doing and it's you know life's about taking advantage of the opportunities I, I think that are presented and Robert Gilbert is uh, the epitome of having you know, fallen into certain circumstances that when he was born I don't think he would have ever been able to, to think you know in 70 years I'm gonna have built a hundred foot boat and sailed it down to Mexico and I'm gonna have designed a mile long walkway and fill it with beautiful art you know, won an his, Academy Award. His list of accomplishments is is really it's amazing. Um, I have some of them written down. He won a Cannes Film Festival award for Magic Machines, his his movie. He won an Oscar for the same movie. He uh, has a. Uh, a door in the law school at UCLA named after his family because of the money he gave and 
honor of his sister, who was a, a UCLA law grad. He's the biggest UCLA fan you, you, you may be known, and, and probably a bigger Laker fan, which was hard for us to get over. <laughs> Bob is genuinely missed uh, by, by our family. Uh, I really miss talking to him. I missed when his contract uh, sort of came to an end here and we were done with the water walk and, and Bob had to go home because he, uh, it, was, it was fun having, even though it never wore shoes and kind of smelled. <laughs> <laughs> I loved having him around. He was an amazing person. Everybody has a story about Bob, and I'm sure the one that I'm gonna remember forever. Uh, we had labor negotiations very early on in this project with a coalition of labor leaders. And Robert, you know, capitalist, and he said, oh, you gotta negotiate hard. And I wanna be there with you. You gotta cut this deal in favor of the project. He's giving me lots of advice, giving Mike lots of advice. And he said, oh, just come with us. Come, come to this negotiation. And so we were running late as usual, and uh, he had walked into the conference room first in tie-dyed Lakers shirt and shorts, flip-flops. And he kind of looked like some of the labor organizers. They didn't know one another. They were a consortium of labor people from around the state. They just assumed he was with them. And one of people on our team also didn't know who, who, who this hippie looking guy was and walked in, guy suit and tie looked like me and shaking and goes up, oh hi, I'm so and so, who, who are you? And he says, I'm Lauren's uncle. And, 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 and the lobbyist says, you, you know, wait, what? You know, and, you know, he was just one of those things that it, the look on Tim Thompson's face when he realized that we had a hippie working for us coming to a labor negotiation you know it, it was it was the funniest uh, negotiation I've ever been in probably will ever be in I'm sure everybody has these stories you know that uh, we're gonna take with us forever Keith uh, always reminds me when we're talking about Bob about their trip up to the river when when they went to go get get the driftwood. And, you know, it's, we're, we were fortunate to have known him. We're fortunate to have worked with him, and we're fortunate enough to be able to have gathered today to to do this dedication. So I'll read you this. This is not the final product. It's it's going to be. Beautiful bronze. Bronze. The real one. But yeah. I'll read the dedication. This is the Point Ruston Grand Plaza, dedicated in memory of Robert Gilbert, Point Ruston's artist in residence. Born February 26, 1944, passed October 15, 2015. The Grand Plaza is hereby dedicated in honor of Bob Gilbert, whose artistic vision and design influence can be seen and experienced throughout Point Ruston. Dedicated this 26th day of February, 2016 by Point Ruston. So with that, uh, thank you for coming. We've got hot dogs in, in honor of Mike and Bob, obviously their, their favorite food. Uh, and, I, and I hope you enjoy this afternoon, enjoy your, your time down here fortunate to work at a, at a special place that's made uh, more special because of our friend Bob. Thank you. Definitely. So we just go get hot dogs now? If that's what you'd like. If Mike has anything to say, fine. Otherwise, hot you dogs are on. You got anything to say about your friend? <laughs> uh, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually fairly speechless, but I'm actually beyond speechless. I am certainly proud that we organize this. Smoke them if you got them is what he's meaning. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll, I'll leave it at that. <laughs>